What I'm really demoing is the uh, Selenium uh, functional test interface. It's a way of driving um, through an IDE extension in Firefox um, your web interface or any kind of web interface that you could display in Firefox. So I'll just start this up. I'm going to talk through it. I'm trusting that it works. The first thing it does is it loads up the, the, um, the site. It then, it then looks for a link that loads in a test database. Registers a user. Once the user is registered, it registers an agent. And then once an agent is registered, it registers a vocabulary. Once the vocabulary is registered, it registers a concept. Um, it then registers another concept. So I know we can do two, because I've had that break before. Um, and then adds a couple of properties to one of the concepts. And it makes sure that um, it can edit one of those concepts. And then it displays the all of the labels. Then it displays, it adds another property. Then it, 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 it tests to make sure that everything's in the history, adds another property. Shows the details, shows the complete history, and while it's running, it's actually checking that things are actually on the page that are supposed to be there. It displays the RDF, then it displays the XSD, and then it makes sure that the test works, the search works, and that's it. <laughs> Since I, I still have three whole minutes. Um, the, the Selenium interface can be gotten from uh, ThoughtWorks, just Google Selenium test, and you'll, it'll be right at the top. Um, it's a Firefox IDE. There's also the ability to export the test files. They're, they're straight HTML. This is what the actual recorded test looks like. It's just an HTML table. So it's nicely editable. You can also edit it in the IDE. Um, and you also have the ability to export. I don't know that you could see this, but you can export the test as um, Java, C Sharp, Perl, PHP, Python, and Ruby. Um, each one of those utilizes a unit test interface in its appropriate language. So that if you export it, say, PHP, you get PHP unit code that you can just run. It utilizes a, um, a remote control device that's a, a, a Java program that you simply start running in, in the background. And it will, the, uh, this will script that interface to actually drive a browser to run your tests. It's a, it's a great way to make sure that, um, unlike well, it's a great way to make sure that everything works on your site after you've futzed with it. I futzed with my site in Costa Rica last week and broke the search and never realized it because I didn't have a search for it. I went to test the search myself yesterday and added and discovered that it was broken. So I simply added this test down here, which, was, which would type a new search term into the search box and then click on the commit button and then make sure that it had the correct title and that I was actually returning two, two of the correct test results. And that took me all of maybe two minutes. So I did it during one of the breaks. So that's that. Thank you. <laughs>